What the heck? How do you break me off that? Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jen Toe. Yo, can we all agree that was the world's softest, most politest ankle breaker? I've literally never seen an ankle breaker that soft. I wasn't even trying to get his ankles. I was just like... What the heck? How do you break me off that? Either that was the weakest ankle breaker or he has the world's weakest knees of all time. Like, I'm talking his knees are done. I'm talking 40-year-old should have made it to the NBA, but he didn't. Now his knees are all weak and fragile, and they got broke, dog. He got broke. But anyways, let's stick to tonight's episode. Tonight, I am going up against, well... I'm actually playing with YouTubers. I'm playing with YouTubers. And um, before I even get deep in this video, let me know if you want to see more games where I'm playing with YouTubers because there's a lot of YouTubers I do want to play with. And all I can do is just hit them up and say, yo, let's play some games. It's going to be fun because subscribers want to see it. Subscribers want to see it. That, that's, that's it. There's no punchline to it. Subscribers want to see us run park together. I'm not asking to go head to head to beat you for some clout. I'm not asking to 1v1 expose you on my court. I'm saying let's work together and get some dubs together. How fun would it be if kids got a chance to see LeBron, Michael Jordan, and Kobe? I repeat, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Kobe play a 3v3 and just dominate the league, dominate the park, dominate whatever. And that would be sick. That would be sick. Because when you think about it, you look at today's NBA, you can't beat them, join them. But now it's like, damn, that's one way of looking at it with, you know, Golden State. And don't, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, I'm not trying to defend Golden State. Don't, know, oh, whoa, oh, don't twist my words. Don't twist. I didn't say that. I didn't say, I didn't say that. I didn't say I'm about to try to make it to the league and get a championship ring playing with Golden State. I didn't say that. I'm just saying, why not work as a team? Instead of me trying to beat you, let's just come together and try to beat other people. You see what I'm saying? We'll be an unstoppable force. I know you're like, yeah, you know what, Genso? That's a good idea. But. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I can't play your style of basketball. If I'm on the court, I can only play GG. Almighty King Cobra Ball. That's the only way I can do it. That's it. If I'm not playing GG Almighty King Cobra with a K, I, I, I don't know why I'm on the court. I don't know why you agree to run some park games. I can only play King Cobra Ball. You know, you know Kobe Bryant, right? When he taps into his, I'm in the zone, the black mamba mode, it's a wrap, dude. It's a wrap. So when I get on that court, when I get on that court, I don't care if it's Sunset, Rivet, Old Town, Reese's, Mountain Dew, Conquer, I don't care. Once I say GG, it's a wrap. It's King Cobra mode. When I play with iPod King Carter and his boy, um, if you haven't done so already, be sure to check him out. He's like, oh no. Why didn't you, why did the face cam stop? Damn, come on, damn. Dog, that just ruined the whole vibe of the video. That really just ruined the whole vibe. I mean, your boy was getting it, but guess what commentary tip number one always make sure your memory card for your dslr is always damn oh man that's really a buzz kill that's really a buzz kill you know what's a bigger buzz kill than running out of space on your memory card and then not knowing having dead batteries so it cut off my camera cut off because rookie mistake my memory card it, it, it ran out of space it ran out of space it, it honestly ran out of space i don't just delete all i like to save everything just in case i want to look back on it and then you know try to do it's just that's just your boy jen so don't worry about it but back to the park oh my god oh my god when i play park i cannot play your idea of basketball because i know some people want to run plays that's cool that's cool because if I say, hey, let's run some plays. Yo, rip three floppy, rip three floppy. 
What the hell is Rip 3 Floppy? Yo, that's the sickest, deadliest money play you're ever going to need on my team. Rip 3, or is it called Quick 3 Floppy? All I know is it's 3 Floppy, and it does the same thing. It, the move is just deadly. I might just throw in like a clip of it. I think I did it in my career at one point. The move is the move is so sick because the play, it honestly sets you up for a perfect three in like the wing. And it's like, yo, that's so, oh my God, that's so convenient. Because basically, if you start at the top of the three point line, the way the play is set up is you go through one screen and then you go all the way around and then there's another screen right there. One of those screens is going to mess up your defender. So when your defender's already shooken up with those screens, you're always, 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 always going to be open for three. Then there's fist 92 down or something like that. And that's the move, the double dragon move people hated when your boy Gento would run on my team. But that's another move that's deadly. Honestly, it's too deadly. So it's like, I mean, if y'all wanna run plays, let's run some plays. If not, we can keep it simple. We can run some pick and rolls, pick and fades, some easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We can keep it basic. We can, it's nothing wrong with sticking to the basics. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with sticking to the basics. We could do that too. But I just can't play different. You see what I'm saying? It's all cool. It's like, if I'm not taking over, it's like, there's, there's nothing I can do. It's, it's just nothing I can do. My passion forbids me to sit back and be another man's sidekick. I just can't. Not when I'm on that court. That's that's absolutely not. Kobe Bryant wasn't no side. Who's Kobe Bryant a sidekick to? And you better, I swear, you better not put, you better not type chat. You better not. Down in the comments, answer this question. Who was Kobe the Black Mamba Bryant? A sidekick too. And you better not say Shaq. You better not type in Shaq. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You see that man right there? His jersey is up there because he's my idol. You see that man right there? His jersey's up because he's my idol. That's why I didn't want to just buy jerseys just to just buy them or whatever. And to be honest, I'm thinking next week I'm going to frame them. But it's something about having a jersey literally hanging and floating the way that they are it gives it that authentic feel you see what i'm saying because i can't frame them and then they look all stiff and it's like it's just, it won't be the same because i had the jerseys up like this for so long but you can tell you can let me know down in the comments is it cool to leave the jerseys like this i know i know what you're thinking but Gento, you just spent that much money on them jerseys those are authentic you just spent all that money on those real jerseys just to have them messed up on the wall well, that's one way of looking at it, but it's like I didn't never intended for the jerseys to get messed up. I just knew once I hung them up, I wasn't going to wear them again. I'm not going to sell them. So it's like if anything happens to them, it's like it is what it is. This part game right here is the complete definition of Gento King Cobra Ball. I can only play this way when I'm running with my boy Killer. It's like, bro. He started off, his record was 0-8. Y'all thought I was playing when I said, I'm here to fix records. It's, I actually find that fun to me. Because when we go on streaks, if you start off negative and we play enough games so you can go positive, even if it's a video or not, it's just a feeling where I'm like, yeah, I did that. I did that. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. It's all fun. It's all fun. I love playing Park this year. It's all fun. This game was a funny game because it's like young. The first game we played, I had like two points. I ain't score. I, I, I just wasn't scoring. This game, look at how many times I scored and played Gento Ball. The first game, we ain't played Gento Ball. The third game, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. And I want you down in the comments to give me your honest opinion. The third game, we didn't play Gento Ball. Down in the comments, let me know, do you think we won that game or did we lose that game? We did not play Gento Ball. All we had to do was play it exactly the same as this game. The next time, that's all we had to do. That's how you win every game on park when you play with your boy Gento. Just trust the process. So the defenders, since they don't have ball like you, they're still double teaming. They're triple teaming. They might get the wrinkle snap if they get too close to me. But they, you just, you, they're double teaming every time, every game. 
people double team and then if you don't double team i'm gonna break your angles create space force you to either as i'm driving to double team me when i get close to the rim because you know i'm gonna try to cock it back you know i'm gonna try to cock it back Yo, or i'm gonna just say you know what just trust the process just let me I'm do here. my thing and sure. i have the most fun when i play park when i was like i don't even have to say nothing Ooh. you know what to do without me saying nothing i know Ooh. what to do without you saying nothing and it is what it is